So I have a spaghetti squash that looks kind of gross. Um, it's got like little scars on it from pollination and bugs. I'm going to cook it in the crock pot. And I was usually cut it in half, but I can't cut it. So I'm just going to fill it full of holes with my big giant fork. It even says big fork on it. Because um, I can get it in there. So I already put some of these holes in. And it's kind of hard to do. So I've put this in fairly deep so it has room to vent. If you don't put holes to vent in it, it will explode when you're cooking. So put it in your crock pot. You need to pour some water in. That's gonna help keep it from getting dried out. I put in about two cups of water. That's like a good inch in the bottom of my crock pot. Okay, I usually cook things in my crock pot outside in the garage because if I smell it all day, I don't wanna eat it. So I'm gonna let it cook on high for four hours and we'll see what we get. Okay, my spaghetti squash has cooked for about four hours, and it's nice and soft. I can push on it. Ooh, I pushed through it. Ooh, I can push on it, so I know that it's done. I'm going to take it out and put it into a smaller dish, a glass casserole dish, so that I can cut it open and shred it. Okay, next, after you cut it open, you need to scoop out the seeds. And if you cut it beforehand, you should have scooped those out before you cooked it. I couldn't cut mine in half, so I just cooked a whole. All right, all my seeds are gone. So I'm gonna use my big fork again and shred it. And just, it's really easy to do. Just pull it with your fork and it starts shredding it. I usually leave it in the shell until it's done shredded and then I'll put it in the bowl. Okay, I finished shredding and I like to take my spaghetti squash and Put it into these little silicone ice cube trays. They are perfect for just the right amount of spaghetti squash as a filler. So I will use these as a filler for like sloppy joes, um, spaghetti, or not spaghetti squash, <laughs> veggie soup, chili. I'll just add these in with the sauce of those things. You can even put it in spaghetti. Anything that's pretty tomatoey. I'll just add that in and it'll be a filler for those meals and just kind of stretch it a little bit further. Spaghetti squash cooled down enough after I got it into these silicone cubes and I smashed it as much as I could. Um, and now I'm gonna put it in the freezer. These are about a quarter of a cup, so I will just add one of these to a batch of sloppy joes or chili to make veggie soup. I'll let them freeze for a day and then put them in a Ziploc bag. Okay, so I froze my spaghetti squash. It's been in the freezer overnight. And I just pop it out from my silicone trays and I got nice spaghetti squash I can put in my bag. Make sure to always label your bag because you think, oh, I'll remember that, but a few months later down the road, you won't. So I have spaghetti squash 9-2018. That's all I need. Then when I'm ready to use this as a filler and soup or spaghetti, Sloppy Joe's chili, all I'll do is pop this out. Sometimes I'll let it defrost, like for Sloppy Joe's, but if it's soup, I just throw it in the pot. 